All right, our next caller is Jackie from Michigan. Hey, Jackie, what's your question? Hey, guys, um, I had a couple questions, um, but one that I was really wondering is Adam's talked a couple times in the past how he was trying to catch uh, Sal's deadlift, and I'm kind of having some issues right now with deadlifting, and I didn't know if he had any advice on um, like anything specific that he did or any type of like um, extra exercises that really liked helping get there. Honestly, what uh, what did it was I had never put that much focus on deadlifting consistently. So I was deadlifting at least two, if not three times a week to try and do that. Now, keep in mind when I say that um, I'm not uh, lifting like max intensity three times a week. So I'd have one or two really hard training sessions a week. And then the other one would be like form and technique, or I would do like deficit deads, or I do snatch grip deadlifts. And so I do different variations. <clears throat> or even switch up to sumo every now and then, but really is uh, I, it stopped. Uh, I stopped doing a lot of other back exercises in my routine, and then the deadlift just became like the primary focus. Ran very much like a like I don't know if you follow Maps Powerlift or if you have that or not, but a, a a program more like that that's just focused on a few lifts and getting good at it. Trying to do it in a, like a full bodybuilding routine and catch someone like that would would have been impossible. So I had to focus all on strength. And doing it two, three times a week. Yeah, I'm training right now. Actually, I'm hoping to do a first powerlifting meet in March. Oh, I mean, awesome. I'm in Michigan, so a lot of our stuff is shut down like you guys. Um, so I, do you have any um, specific uh, mobility exercises, too, that you think would help specifically powerlifting? Well, that really depends on you, right? So I'd have to – it, it depends on where you're like. So mobility stuff for me was hips and ankles were like my limiting factor, right? But if you have good hip mobility and good ankle mobility, that's not a big deal to you. So it really depends mm -hmm. on where you see the most deficiency or breakdown in, in your form. Yeah, do you, do you have any areas that you notice uh, you, you might think you need to work on mobility-wise? Yeah, I think definitely my hips. Um, I haven't actually ever had pain. I used to do bodybuilding before and I never really got any pain from lifting, but ever since I've been really increasing, um, you know, going a lot heavier doing the power lifting, I do kind of get some hip pain. So I went through, I've done the uh, webinars a few times, so that wow. definitely helps. I can feel a big difference do when you, I do that. Do you have MAPS Prime Pro? I don't. Every time I go to buy one of your programs, I can't decide which one I want and I get really overwhelmed. And so I'm like, no, I'll wait and I'll think on it some more. Okay. So um, that's definitely something I'm looking into. Okay. So we'll send you Maps Prime Pro. Um, so you'll have access to that. And then what I suggest you do is go through the, the hip, um, the foot and the ankle sections, do some of the movements, see which ones give you the most impact. And then practice them on a daily basis. The best way to do mobility is to not treat it like a workout in the sense that you do it, you know, for 30 minutes straight, you know, two or three days a week. Do it 10 minutes, twice a day, three times a day. Focus on the movements. Get really good at them. Uh, but both, but Prime Pro has a lot of options for uh, for those areas. I have a couple more questions, too. Are you uh, conventional or are you sumo deadlifting? Well, I am conventional. And I, I kind of get frustrated because I see that, like, so I know a lot of girls pull sumo and I feel like I should be able to, but it's just, it's, it, it feels better. But more recently when I've been going up, I get really bad low back pain when I pull conventional. Mm, okay. Yeah. You might be right with your hips, the, the hips might, and that might be why it feels more comfortable conventional. How tall are you? Uh, five, six. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I think sumo would ideally, but if you have, if you are limited with your hips, then working on your hips would be yeah. ideal. What about uh, hip thrusts? Are you doing any hip thrusts? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I do those about twice a week. I okay. hate them, but I do them. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. What's your, what's the, what's your deadlift stuck at right now? Uh, 290. Oh, yeah, that's good weight though. Yeah. You're doing yeah. especially you're, conventional. Yeah, yeah. You're doing phenomenal. Yeah, I just started three months ago. So I'm, oh. I, I had like a really good shoot up and everything like bench is going well, squats going well. And then that deadlift, I just get, I'm getting real discouraged on it. So okay. Is this your first competition that you're entered into? Yes. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, phenomenal. Okay. So here's something that worked really well for me. I noticed the biggest carryover from my squats to my deadlift. So my squat would go up. My deadlift would go would go up, but then at one point, I started to notice a little bit of pain near the SI joint. I don't know if you know where that is, but the SI joint is near the lower back, but it's kind of to the side a little bit. So it feels like mm -hmm. it's like hip low back pain, okay, if that makes any sense. Is that where you're feeling some of yours? Yep, because I get that sciatic nerve sometimes too that – Mm -hmm. goes off there on that side. Okay. Uh, lunges did a phenomenal job for me. I was able, when, because I noticed I could squat heavy, 
Then I would do lunges, and the lunges were just so significantly weaker. I didn't have good split stance strength and stability. So I started to practice lunges, and it made a huge difference in my deadlifts because I think it balanced me out. Um, so maybe try doing some lunges, some back step lunges, mm -hmm. or walking lunges might help you out. The other thing we didn't address is uh, sticking points. Do you have any sticking points? Like, do you are you, are you, are you better? Get up off the ground. If I can get it up off the ground, I'm pulling it all the way. But for some reason, it's just right in that beginning is where I you tend to get so deficit dead. Oh yeah, so deficit you, deadlifts with light weight uh, should help with that. And mm -hmm. then uh, that even that makes me even feel stronger about split stance exercises for you, like walking lunges. Yeah. I think that awesome. might, might help you out. Awesome. Thank you very much. No problem. And, uh, and I hope you, hopefully you enjoy Maps Prime Pro. And if you have any questions, just shoot us a DM, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. No problem. Awesome. Wow. I mean, talk about strong. I mean, do it, you yeah. know, part of that is is being okay. This is one of the things, too, and I didn't get a chance to say this to her, but – you know, uh, when you start getting a little bit of uh, progress and seeing like, you know, your weight go up mm -hmm. or you're getting, and this could be both from an aesthetic side or even a strength side, you know, we, we just, I think as humans, we want more, we want more, we want more. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there is, there is a point too, to like, Hey, you're doing hella good. Three, yeah. three months into like strength training and power lifting. Be encouraged to, by what you've already been seeing. Yeah, and hitting almost 300 pounds, yeah. conventional deadlifting. That's really yeah. good, man. Now, and here's the thing too. Uh, 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 when you go from bodybuilding to powerlifting, there's a transition where, and it's, I mean, it's powerlifters have to go through a similar transition when they go to bodybuilding. They have to learn how to focus on the movement, not the muscle. Yeah. I've, I've done this with totally different people. technique. Yeah, and it's like they deadlift and they can't help but like, oh, I feel my lats, I feel my back. It's like don't feel anything. Yeah. Just perfect the movement. It's all about the movement. It has nothing to do with feeling in the muscle. And then the reverse, you work with the power lifter, and everything they do is about the movement. You're like, no, no, you got to move it's in a way. It's funny. To I see it all the time. Like just like that stiff movement, like the transition from bodybuilder to going into powerlifting. You know, having to kind of go through that of. The movement can be smoother, and the more smooth you you get it, the you know the more weight you start stacking. It's pretty it's pretty crazy. Totally different mindset. 